Right folks, I'm in the orchard. There's some nice rams shading in the heat there. And there's a lovely cooking apple tree there. They've all been pierced by something now. And then there's a view back across, right the way back to the warden's place. Lovely apple trees here. Um, and beyond the apple trees, there's of course more images of the priory, the infirmary, which is never open. They, they never open that infirmary up. I mean, in one way, you could open that up and have cream teas in there, couldn't you? But you've still got to get people that would do that. I was just so glad to get in that door there. It's lower than that, it's taller than that, but... God, you know, that was so great to get in there. It's been a couple of years, I think, since I've been in. I have been in since it's been like that. I have been in there. I'm sure that did have the window when I first met it, that. I think they filled it up. I'm sure that did have a window. It did have a window, but I think it was actually there when I first came here in 2010. Right, just a short video, folks. It's getting quite warm now. It's a lovely, lovely autumn day. The second day of autumn this is. And what a beautiful treat I've had. This wasn't planned. I planned to come over for a walk here. And, and I came early and it was a good job. Because the prairie's often open like that when the cleaners are in, getting ready for the next set of people who live in the back. You know, visitors who come to stay. So that was good. Over and out, folks. Right, folks, I'm wandering across the field now. It's gentle. Well, it isn't a gentle breeze, actually. It's uh, not a fierce breeze either. It's sort of, it's just a breeze. And I look back at the, the Priory. I never mentioned the Queen when I was in there. For some reason, I was so overcome with being able to get in. I didn't uh, say anything about her. I was talking about Thomas a Beckett, so. I love this, just, I've loved this place. I've been coming here for 12 years now. Even, even 13, it might have been 2009 the first time I came here. Or 2008. I definitely came here around about those sort of times. When I first just came across right, it. folks, I've had to put the charger on. It's a very, very, very dodgy connection. Um, but I, I'm sure I've seen those people. Someone with the blue coat. I think that was the man I saw earlier down there which I did earlier like I said it's very difficult for me to to see anything the reflection of the screen is really bad but um, it's, very, it's very difficult to to do anything with this sort of camera like this it really is hard But we're still going for now. I think those people did bomb along that road. They did seem to be fast walkers. And I did see a man in a blue jacket. So I think that is them. It's a lovely day today. It's turned out nice and sunny. All the sheep look happy. They've all been shorn. Uh, no lambs now. <laughs> what were lambs? They're getting bigger. <laughs> they, no, they no longer have cows here. With the naked eye, I can see the suspension bridges crossing over the River Severn there. There's the Bristol Channel over to Wells. Sugarloaf Mountain right in the distance. And you've got these beautiful clouds. You've got these beautiful clouds. And the sheep. And uh, some of these sheep will know my voice because I've been coming over here at least once or if not twice a month and walking amongst them and they do know they do know my voice I reckon they do 
I reckon they know me now. I'm just looking out for those people. Hopefully they're having a good look in the Priory. And, um... And then they might walk up the, the road and do the bridle path across. It's a nice walk, it's a nice circular walk. Well, they might come sneak up this path here. Which you're not supposed to do. I thought I'd do a little bit more videoing because I've had, I feel really happy that the Priory was open. I met these two people and uh, they didn't quite know where they were going. They had their map upside down and everything. But I told them about the Priory. I gave them a little history and they were, they said, oh, that's really good. And um, they were going to make an attempt to get in there and have a look. I said it was open. Then I told them about the bridal path. But that would be up to them. If they didn't feel safe to do that, they can walk back this way. You know, there's no problem. But it's lovely up here, isn't it? You can see somebody coming along. Is that somebody on a bike? You don't, you're not supposed to have people on bikes, but you do get the odd person. Yeah, like I said, they used to have cows. For years they had cows up here. I mean, I never felt threatened by them really, the cows here. They just stopped doing them. They do filming out here. Um, Sandington, it's called, the drama. They often show the horses being driven along on the carriage. Everyone in their sort of 18th century costumes. I actually, somewhere I've got some pictures I've taken of that. Uh, and of the leading lady, but I, can't, I don't know where about. It was several years ago. Well, I have got it somewhere and it will turn up. Now, because it's a good day, I can zoom into Flat Home. Right over there. There it is. Once again, I said it's very difficult to focus. Without a viewfinder, it really is hard to focus, folks. But that is flat home out there. Very won't come out very clear because I can't focus properly. Just can't. It's a good day to do photos though, it really is. This is a brilliant photographic day of, of Sand Bay. Um, and today because the priory was open, the video will take priority. And I will do it very quickly. I will do WMV today, probably tonight. It would take presents over the Wells visit, everything else I've done. It will... You know, I, I really miss my eyesight. There's a beautiful, like, little bird there. Now, years ago, I would, I'd be able to... When I had my... Um... Now, look at that bird. Is that a thrush? Lovely, lovely scenery, everyone. I've come back on. I did manage to capture the bird with photo. I'm not quite sure what it had a yellow tinge. It wasn't a thrush. I'm not quite sure what it was, but uh, All I'm going to do is uh, do the Priory first before I do the beginning walk, beginning of the walk. I'm just going to do the Priory and get it on YouTube because uh, it really is well worth it. And look at this lovely scene here. I, I never get fed up with coming here, you know, I and mean, I got I don't do it all in every time. I keep some, so I vary it a bit. But I actually love this place since the very beginning. I was very nervous when I first did it. I didn't know where I was going, how so there were cows in the early days. Um, but as soon as I found the Priory always used to be open as well in the past. We didn't have this locked business. Of course, when the COVID was on, everything was shut. They didn't even like people walking over here. 
it was um, very, very, but th then they did because the government told everyone to do exercise. So this place got overrun. I'd never seen it like it. My place of retreat. Yeah, that's the Bristol Channel, everyone. Tides right out, might just going out still because the sandbanks are showing. In the summer, you get people picnicking down here. It feels like the summer still. It's today it does with the sun out. I could have worn shorts, but it was nippy earlier. I needed the three layers earlier. So this is the 23rd of September, 2022. I'm over at Sam Bay. I've just left Middle Hope, St. Thomas Point and the Priory, which is there. That's the Priory. I don't know whether the people I met have decided to do the bridal path. Um, I don't know, actually. They are not. Like I said, it's very difficult for me to focus without a viewfinder. Uh, that, that <coughs> and I don't seem to be able to find my old cameras to buy again. It's really strange how they've seemed to have withdrawn. They were so good, I think, they had to take them off. The viewfinder facility was excellent. Absolutely excellent. I know it seems like I video this a lot, but it's a different period in time. We've now got a king. We've got King William III. The Queen's died and she's buried. It's all happened in a in just over a week. It's amazing, really. Well, it was she died on the 8th of September. <clears throat> Eleven days later, she was buried. I mean, the thing is, she had been up in Balmoral, Scotland. Then she was transferred to is it St. Giles, Edinburgh, St. Giles Cathedral. Then down to London to Westminster Hall. Finally to Westminster Abbey, where the main funeral took place, but with lots of pomp and circumstance pageantry, all the military colours you can think of. Lots of black as well. 